Oh, yeah. Okay, this, this car has a 3 liter V6 engine. Uh, its starting current is about 250 amps. This is its battery. Now we disconnect the original battery. And we put on connect a very weak battery. This is very weak battery. And now we try to start this car with this weak battery. It's nothing. It's nothing. The battery is very weak. Although it's nothing, and we believe there is still enough energy left in this battery to start this car. So, at this moment, we need our jump starter. See, this is a fridge. The temperature is now minus 30. This is this is our battery jump starter. There is no battery inside. No need to pre recharge it. Now it has no power inside. We connect this jump starter to this weak battery. Now, it shows the voltage of this weak battery. It's about uh, nine. Now we press this, and it starts to eject the residual energy in this battery into this jump starter. It takes about uh, one minute and uh, 40 seconds. Depend on battery status. So as long as the battery has a voltage over three volt, you can recharge this batteryless jump starter from battery. After the top light stop blinking, it's fully recharged and ready to start your car. Okay. Okay.
Now we can start. It works. See, and uh, it start recharge again. Okay, it's uh, fully recharged. Now let's try override. That is, in some case, battery is totally flat, or maybe there's no battery at all, and you still want to start your car or, or some machine. Yeah, we can use override mode. So we take battery off. And we connect this jump starter to the cable directly without battery. And long press this button. It enter to override mode. It works. And uh, if there's the battery is totally dead, you cannot extract energy from the dead battery. We you can still recharge this with with this cable with this cable from a nearby car just plug it into cigarette socket and it will recharge itself in about one minute and uh, you can even use your mobile power bank with this mini USB. Yeah, plug into it. It will recharge itself. Uh, this takes longer time, about uh, 15 minutes. See. Okay, so you can use this jump starter in very cold temperature and just leave it in your car chunk no matter how long you leave it in chunk it's ready to start your car immediately you need it thank you